strive to be better each and every snap, each and every day, every week, every year. You gonna keep up what? I have a Super Bowl ring yet. I want one playoff game, and I want to put a gold jacket on. That's what keeps the motivation going. To be the best of all time, every single year. Don't stop, keep grinding. We're in Miami Gardens, um, working out here at the community field. I invited some of my friends from high school, my childhood friends. I seem to motivate these guys each and every day, each and every day I'm around them. So I want to continue being a positive role model, not only in their lives, but in the kids in the community's lives as well. You know, we're just out here getting, getting it in because, you know, the grind never stops for me. I need coming through it. Let's go. Go, catch. I feel like I am the best athlete in the NFL because there's not many other players that can do what I can do. First DB, the, the catch a pass, the throw a pass, catch punts, and also defend a pass in one game. Deion Sanders was my role model growing up, and the way he transcended the game, it was unbelievable. So once I got to the NFL level, I wanted to do some of the same things that he did as well, and that's why my dad always put me in different positions. I definitely thought uh, it helped me become a well-rounded player. Everything good with you? Everything hurting on you? Anything hurting? I got my ankles, but ankles still bothering you a little bit. Yeah. So let me know what, what you can and can't. I'm doing everything. Everything. All right. Man, my dad relationship is very unique on and off Man. the field. Um, he knows how to push my buttons. He knows how to get the maximum effort um, out of me. He was like five or six years old. We would go to the Hurricane games. We go to the Miami Dolphin games. He sits right there and watch every play. He's always focused on the football field. I'm, I'm hard on everybody, him, and whoever you know comes you know toward to get work from me. I tell them the truth. I just want them to understand I'm here for them to help them get better. Oh, shit. oh got one pass interference. Make sure you go around the cone every time. Y'all ain't no damn receivers. Y'all cornerbacks, make the adjustments. Let's go. That's what happened when you drop the goddamn ball. Guess what? You're getting tighter now. You got to move now. He got the same mentality as me, you know, just want to be great, work hard. He's on the he's on the rise. Good work, good work, good job. We done here, we done, done here. He's an unbelievable young man. I know sometimes kids grow out of certain things they've been doing all their life, but he's a different kind. He just wanna continue where he started from, you know? I'm comfortable, comfortable here when I come back home. These surroundings that I grew up around, this is the surroundings that got me into this well-formed athlete, so why venture off? How you feeling, man? Great, man. Better than ever. That's what I'm talking about. We have had so many professional players that came through this area. We ain't never had nothing like you here. Yeah. This brother like Superman. <laughs> he could walk around regular people all day and hide the power that he really have because he, God blessed this man with with something special. Yes, sir. I'm just very, very blessed to, you know what I mean, to be, to be a part of this community, to come from this community, because I believe they helped me grow as a young man as well. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, just going through the everyday life, you know, because sometimes it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. You know, you, you gotta have, you gotta have a certain mind frame, mindset to be able to, 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 to go through some of the, the things that, that I went through. Mm. 
mind was foggy. You know, I gained a ton of weight. Um, just very sluggish, very tired. You know, I just wasn't myself. I didn't know what, what was going on with my body. I'm getting chills <laughs> thinking about it right now. Honestly, it was scary. You know, the, the beginning stage of, you know, uh, of, this, of, the, of the type 2 diabetes. And never made excuses. No one never knew because I didn't want to look like a coward. I didn't want to look like a guy who, who make excuses or on why I wasn't playing up to my capability. What I did was just nipped it in the butt, took it like a man on the chin, and I worked even harder. And I came back in 2015 season, had my best season ever. I don't even get tired in the game when I do when I work out like this. It makes you dig deep, make you work even harder. That's why I like coming on the beach. It's definitely meant to get you mentally prepared for those four quarter drives. Those two minute drives, those two minute warning drives. Uh, when you have to make a play, it's all here. Remember, we control our mind, our mind will control us. In order to be great, you gotta put the work in. Can't keep talking about it. Be great on three. One, two, three. Be great. After I put the hard work in each and every morning, from 9 o'clock through 12 o'clock, three hours on the field, yes, it's time to, to kick back, let my hair back, and go to a different scenery to where it's peaceful, kind of relax, relax my mind, and get ready for the next day. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue to work hard um, each and every day. Your best game every day. Like my shirt said. You read it. Or say no excuses, no apologies. You gotta train, work hard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Me, my mind is always thinking. I'm always moving. I'm, worrying. I'm thinking about how to get better. If, say, for instance, I'm playing yes, against yes, Antonio Brown or I'm playing against, you know, Julio Jones, AJ Green, all the marquee receivers, I'm in the huddle, but I'm not in the huddle. I'm over the ball, looking them in their eyes, letting them know that I'm here. Let them know that I'm everywhere you're going to be. If you're going left, I will be right there with you. If you're going right, I'm going to be right there with you. And now, once the quarterback gets, in, gets into his cadence, I'm locked in. Blue 18, set, go. I don't want to never be level or the same as I was the day before. I want to find a way to dig deep and put, my, put maximum effort each and every time I step on the field. I work so hard to get to this moment each and every second, every day, every week, every year. I'm striving to be better. It's so much more I want to accomplish. You know, I'm building a legacy. Where you at? We here. Major key. Alert. Ha, ha, ha.